Kurt Streifert, and I am the district manager. So Columbia Irrigation District was officially formed in 1917. We get our water from the lower Yakima River. So we are a more urbanized district. We serve roughly 8,000 patrons and provide water to roughly 12,000 acres. The main issues is being able to get the water that we are entitled to get some years. Um, we battle with uh, weeds in the canal, aquatic weeds, and just water quality. The biggest help of the Rubicons is it has cut down on some labor and they allow us to put the canal at a, at a set level and whether we are in the slack time or the high demand time, they automatically adjust to keep us at the level that we want to be at. We really focus on, on the flow rates of, of our spillways at the tail ends of our canals and our spillways. That is where we are able to see that as we line our canals and, and as we put Rubicons in and make our improvements of how much water we're actually being able to not spill versus using the manual checkboards. What we're able to do with it is keep it in our system longer for our patrons to be able to use it. My lead field employees also have access through their tablets and their smartphones. And we've been able to take care of some problems before they became problems. My field lead that controls the water levels, I know every day, seven days a week through the water season that he checks the water levels. We're able to make our small adjustments if we need to send a CFS or a half a CFS down one of our laterals. A long-term study of what we're trying to do and outlook of what we're trying to do, I think could be very helpful. Just from the, the benefit and the savings that we've seen so far 